Hello and welcome to another video from me, Lauren from Lauren and the Books. I've got something a bit different today. This is my favourite video, my favourite things um, that I did or had or got or saw or read in June. Um, this is quite popular amongst YouTubers, so I thought I'd give it a go too. So I'm going to start with TV shows. Now, my favourite TV show that I've watched in June, and there was three, and I've managed to whittle it down to number one, was No Offence, which was on Channel 4. This was amazing. It was a six-part crime series. It might have been an eight-part crime series, which is brought to us by the um, writers and producers of Shameless. So when I saw the trailer, I thought it seemed like it was, um, it was like a comedy almost. It, it had like dark comedy aspects to it, but it was just brilliant the whole way through. So the the through the, the thread that ran throughout the show was that there was this killer who was killing Down syndrome girls, um, and they were they were on the hunt for him. Um, but every single episode had a different like crime story along with it and the last two episodes I literally sat holding my breath I don't think I breathed for the these people outside shouting it's better I don't think I breathed for the whole last two episodes and it was just brilliant and I'm really really pleased to hear that it has been um, renewed for a second series so if anyone's interested in crime or just need something to watch then check that out on 4OD although I think it's called all four nowadays so yeah that was great uh, the best film I watched this month, we only went to the cinema to see one film this month, and that was Jurassic World, which was the best film I saw this month. So um, my boyfriend is a mad Jurassic Park fan, absolutely loves it, um, and was desperate for Jurassic World to come, come out. So we went to see that, and I really enjoyed it. It did what it said on the tin. It was a bit of a hark to the 90s, um, and I just loved it. And Chris Pratt is, like, nice. He's got, like, a little cheeky tan now, a little beard. And he just looked lovely. So, yeah, I thought it was really good. And uh, we're actually going to see it again this weekend. So I enjoyed it very much. Uh, my next thing, I'm going to go for the book that I am... Um, my favourite book of the month, which if you've seen my book, group, my book roundup for June, you will know that it was the Encyclopedia of Early Earth by Isabel Greenberg. So this was an entirely new reading experience for me. I'd never read, read a graphic novel before. And it's just... It, it was just... A joy to read and I really loved it it's um I just loved it it was really really fun and loved it loved it so that was my best book of um June so far um in terms of YouTube um I there's so many things I've been watching on YouTube because I've really got into booktube like it's only since I've started doing these videos and um been loving all the booktubers but last night I watched the best video that I have seen in a long time and it was a Jamie Oliver video. So it's Jamie Oliver cooking in real time with um, another YouTuber called Fun For Louie, who I must check out his um, his uh, his channel, actually, because it looks like he's got some pretty cool stuff on there. And it was just Jamie Oliver cooking in real time. So it's 26 minutes. He does a pasta dish. He does a bruschetta. He makes a drink. And he does something else, but I can't remember what it was. Oh, a chopped salad as well. And it was just so impressive. Like, it was just the ease at which he cooks. I mean, I know he's a skilled guy anyway, but this was just he was sort of like plucking things out of the air and just making this amazing dinner out of it and it just really impressed me and I loved watching it and it just shows like what can be achieved in terms of a dinner in 26 minutes and I just really loved watching it and I'm gonna watch it again so I'll put the link for that down there uh, keeping on the theme of Jamie Oliver every month people that know me real life me will know that I've got a Jamie Oliver cookbook and I worked through that and cooked everything in it I did cook everything in it but I cooked like almost 90% of the cookbook. This year I'm doing Save with Jamie and working through this book and this month I've been very naughty. I haven't done as many. I'm supposed to be doing 10 a month and this month I've done two. But the best one I did was the Silky Salmon Tagliatelle. Here is a picture of this and I'll also link my Instagram down below because I um, that's where I post all my pictures of my Jamie recipes. So if anyone's interested in keeping up to date with them, do that. But yeah, Silky Salmon Tagliatelle was the best one. Love salmon anyway, so salmon pasta. Bella Babizio. Okay, uh, my next favourite thing, I'm going to go for fashion. So, my number one, first of all, I got this t-shirt from River Island and I adore it. It says Ross and Rachel. And I got this from River Island, I think it's like £18 or something. I just think it's a really cool tee and I've been enjoying wearing it. It's a bit pink, which is a bit unlike me actually. But um, I loved Friends, I love a 90s reference. So this I thought was really cool. It was a lot better than some of the t-shirts I've seen which have just sort of got Friends cast plastered all over them so that was something I liked. Another thing me and my boyfriend have joined the gym and I bought myself a new trendy cool pair of trainers. These are so light I can't believe it. It's been ages since I've actually owned trainers that like are, are not 
like, horrible trainers. I never wear trainers. Um, and I saw these on Very and they were in the sale and I just think they're amazing. Although I've just seen I've got them dirty already and I've only worn them once. How awful. But look how cool they are. I've actually got them ruined already. Look, I've only worn them once. So light, so cool. Well done. I'm going to get bad luck for putting them on the table. Um, second to last thing is beauty this month. So one of my friends, um, Emily, she is um, she's an Avon saleswoman, and um, I got three amazing products from her this month. So the first one is this ultra color lip lip tint pen in strawberry. So I'll pop it there, and I've got it on my lips now. And this is just great. It stays on. It's really easy to put on, and it stays on. I mean, granted, I have had to build this color up a bit because the first sort of layer you put on isn't great. But um, this stays on beautifully, and it's just a really nice colour. I just think it's really cool. So with this, this was £5.50, but if you bought this, you got two freebies, one of which being this nail varnish I've got on now in Cherry Jubilee, which I think is lovely. It's like a mixture of, it's almost like a burgundy, but it's like a pinky, reddy niceness, which I think is really cool. So I think it's quite classy. So that. And then also this Super Extend Liquid Eyeliner, which is a felt tip pen, which I normally avoid like the plague, but as it was free, I thought I'd give it a go. This is the best eyeliner I've ever used in my life. And I've had some like expensive benefit eyeliners and things like this. This was amazing. It's so easy to put on. It's so black because quite often I'll find that I'll put something on and it looks gray and I need to layer it up. And it stays on all day. I've had this on all day. La, 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 la. That's why I haven't got glasses on so I can do this specifically. Um, and yeah, just amazing. Like really, really pleased. So it was these whole things for £5.50. Absolutely thrilled. Some lovely little bits there so if any of you actually know me or emily i will um in my facebook link i will link emily's name in it so if anyone's interested in getting these guys for five pound fifty then you should definitely do so they've got loads of shade of this i um i actually want a redder and a pinker one so i might do it again and buy more because i'm going to need this eyeliner more and more anyway so yeah they're my bits my last thing and i'm going to need my prop for this is my cat's had a haircut and that's one of my favorite things mini 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 This is my last is this is my last favourite thing of the month. It's my beautiful darling. What's this? I have to feed her to keep her here because she won't be interested otherwise. But Minnie's had her hair cut this month. It's been so hot, it is so hot today, it's like 30 something degrees. And um she is just too hot with this flush. She's a Persian cross, so she's really, really fluffy. Um, and she's had to have like some sort of trendy undercut done, which I will show you in a minute. But um, she had her hair cut done yesterday and she got back from the vet and she'd been under anaesthetic and she was very dozy and like a bit spaced out. And she kept just looking at nothing. Hey, there's nothing there. So this is my last favourite thing of the month. So I've had quite a lot of favourites. One of my other favourite things of the month has been doing my booktube channel. I've absolutely, hey, I've absolutely adored doing it. Oh, sorry, ma'am. And, um, yeah, so it's just been great. So I just thought I'd do something a little bit different. A few people who said to me, I don't even like books. I thought I'd do something a bit different. So although it did have a book in it, the main thing is it had this beautiful baby in it, didn't it? What are you doing? You're being nice. You're not being nice at all. Go and say goodbye. Okay, then. Thanks, then. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>